back to back mass shootings. It's a question that frustrates frustrates people on both sides of the argument. What to do about guns? We talked with two key Wisconsin lawmakers who face this issue all the time. A call to do something now. But I think that the grip of the NRA is just very firm. Still largely falls within partisan parameters. I know their calls to rush back to Washington just pass a law. The gun debate is once again front and center after two mass shootings in Ohio and Texas that killed 31 people. How does it change? What requires? Charles, I, I just don't know who's next. In February, Congresswoman Gwen Moore and the Democratic led House closed two loopholes. One would require background checks on all commercial gun sales, including those at gun shows and over the internet. The other extended the background check review period from three to 10 days. There's only one solution, and that solution is to not let special interests drive the debate. President Trump tweeted today, serious discussions are taking place between House and Senate leadership on meaningful background checks. But Republican Senator Ron Johnson sounded more cautious. First of all, I think everybody has to understand that the vast majority of gun sales and purchases go through the background check. It's, it's approaching 90 percent. Johnson says protecting everyone's constitutional rights can be a roadblock for change, especially with the push for red flag laws that allow family members to raise concerns about a relative with a weapon who could be a danger to themselves or others. Let's start actually implementing those things that could literally mitigate some of the harm versus you know, always pushing what is controversial that probably won't get passed. Next week, Governor Evers will meet with Republican leadership in the Assembly and Senate to talk about gun reform legislation. Evers wants to talk about red flag laws and universal background checks.